What's up, baby? Today we're gonna be talking about my first ever time going on a roller coaster, or in other words, my first ever time going to Six Flags. And mind you know that I've never been on a roller coaster before, so I really didn't know what to expect. But hey, uh, a week before I went to Six Flags, I told my buddy Wesley, like, hey, I'm going to Six Flags soon with my people. Which is the scariest ride? You wanna know what he said? The Raging Bull. And I was like, okay, that's gonna be my first one. So let's get into it. And you're probably saying to yourself like, hey, don't you got any footage? Well, unfortunately not. I, I wish I could have recorded stuff, but I didn't. I should have, but I mean, it is what it is. I was trying to not be on my phone all day. And plus there's too many people there. So if I try to vlog it, it's gonna be awkward and there's I don't like dealing with people who are like oh I don't want to be on camera get that camera away from me I'm like bruh you're you're walking behind me I mean I, I can't do anything about it so when I got there I didn't really know where anything was all I was worried about was going on the raging bull right so I ended up going on the Goliath first didn't really know anything about this thing but the name pretty much gives it off the Goliath let me tell you this Goliath I'll try to put a video on the screen, but the Goliath was just insane. Like usually whenever you see a roller coaster on YouTube or in real life, like just going up a really big ramp and then dropping down really fast, you're like, oh, that looks pretty fun, but it could probably be scary. But let me tell you, I was like, okay, can't be that bad, right? And when I got on it, this was my first ever roller coaster. Keep that in mind. I was not ready for that. It was so crazy. I felt like I was gonna explode. I felt like I was, <laughs> it's crazy. And when you go down, there's this tunnel thing. I literally felt like I was gonna get decapitated. <laughs> it was so insane. But wow, that was, I was not ready for that. It was pretty fun though. And keep in mind that the park that I went to was Six Flags Great America here in Gurney, Illinois. So everything's gonna be different, but let me tell you, that Goliath and the Raging Bull are pretty much neck and neck. Apparently the Goliath is like a little faster and the drop is taller, but they're both pretty good. I still gotta say though, the Goliath is the best one there, at least here in Illinois, so try it out. After I got off that ride, I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, this is probably a mid-ranged roller coaster. Let's try go to a better one. So we went on something called the X-Flight. It was all right. It wasn't anything too crazy, but if you get dizzy really fast, then you might might get dizzy on that one. The first time I went on it, I mean, it was just like, oh, this is pretty crazy. I don't wanna go on this again. But the second time it was like, oh, uh, it's, it's too easy. What is this? This felt like 10 seconds of nothing. Just a bunch of spinning and spinning and Ah. So the next two that I went to were like a Batman one. Now there's a, a outdoors one and an indoors one. The indoors one is the one where, I don't know if it's Dark Knight or Batman, but there's like no lighting inside. So you can't really see anything that's going on. I didn't really like that one. I mean, it, it's not too crazy, but there's a lot of turns. It's like, whoa, you, you don't expect that. Plus the ambient, there's just no light. The environment, there's it, like absolutely no light. I don't like that. It's like, bro, I can't see where I'm going. I don't know what's gonna happen. And the other one, I, Batman, Dark Knight. I don't know. I'll try to correct myself. That one was pretty good. I got dizzy. I was like, what? I'm just tapping out. The one that, I'll, the one, ah, shit, my bad. The one that's outdoors is the better one. Now the next roller coaster I was pretty sketchy about because I've seen reviews like two days before I went to Six Flags. I seen reviews about the ride how you know it lacks cushion and your head just bounces around and once you get off it's nothing but neck pain and headaches and all this bad stuff. I was like damn uh should I really ride on it? But I was like you know what we're risk takers, right? We ain't scared of nothing. So I rode on it and it was pretty fun, actually. The only thing that I didn't like was the lack of cushion, like I said, cause the headrest, it's straight plastic. So you, if you try to ha have your head back and you all of a sudden, you know, take a drop, 
boom it's kind of it's gonna hurt a bit but it's nothing too serious plus you might feel a little scared about going on it since it's like all wood the one here in illinois at least but so was the goliath i didn't really realize that <laughs> until the second time i wrote it it's all wood apparently i'm like speaking about neck pains and headaches and all this bad stuff let's take this to the demon the demon over here in illinois this was the worst ride ever it's not even too crazy it's like a small drop then you go through like a tunnel i don't i forgot how it goes but i didn't like it because towards the end there was i can't remember if it was a drop or like a turn bam my left ear was like so red and i was like ow and the rest of the people around me they were like yeah my ears hurt too I was like shit that's not good so if you do end up going on the viper just be careful just just know that you might get hit in your left or right or you know somewhere in your head and the last ride was it wasn't really a roller coaster it was more like a, a u type of shaped roller coaster i don't even know what what to call it but you basically just like go room room and then you like swing back you go all the way up here oh are you taking the job? Ah! So, I think that was called the V2. I'll correct myself on the screen. If that's not what it's called. But, wow, let me tell you. When I was going in line for that, I was kind of nervous. One minute they're here. Vroom! What? And there was this guy, probably in his 20s. He was, you know, chickening out. He was like, you know what? I can't do this. He, he yelled out loud like, hey, get me off, get me off. And you want to know what the roller coaster operator said? He was like, okay, we'll get you off when the ride is done. <laughs> and everybody laughed. That was a good one, man. That was a fun ride. And by this time, it was about nighttime. So everything was dark. I felt like I was in the movie Zombieland because they got that amusement park going on with the lights nice and bright shining. It's cool. Overall, my experience was pretty sweet. I was not ready for that Goliath, that big drop. It felt crazy, but hey, that was like the best one there. The Raging Bull was pretty good too. I mean, it had pretty much the same thing. It was neck and neck with the Goliath, but I felt like it was too safe. What I mean by this is, I don't know, you, you felt too safe. There was, I didn't know this before, but the Goliath, it doesn't have a, a headrest. So you can't rest your head back. My advice for people who are going to Six Flags for the first time, I went to the Gurney, Illinois location, so I don't know how the others are gonna be, but this just goes to anybody in general. Don't eat or drink a lot. You know, don't eat a full breakfast. Don't eat a full nice meal. Keep it light. Eat like a sandwich or two. Same thing with the liquids. Don't drink too full cups of water don't just chug them down because you can't take your water bottles inside the park or just don't drink too much water because you're gonna be peeing every 10 seconds and that's not fun i peed like four times i didn't want to do that so i was like you know what i'm not even gonna drink no more water because it's not fun and just because you get hungry doesn't mean you gotta go all out on the eating because trust me when i was done eating my one sandwich I felt like I was, I was ready to tap out because I just didn't feel good. I was really nauseous when I was getting onto that Viper. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if I could do this. But hey, right after I was done riding it, I felt perfectly fine. So it's just your thoughts. Also, for the rides that have the headrests in the back, you want to make sure you stay back as much as you can. You don't want to be loose or anything. You want to be nice and tight towards the back because you won't really feel... I mean, yeah, it's going to feel less dramatic when you're just straight back but if you got your head you know anywhere not on a headrest then you're gonna be going like this you're gonna be struggling to hold your head so just keep your head back you're gonna enjoy the ride don't close your eyes make sure to breathe another thing if you're wearing shorts or you're not rocking the skinnies then be really careful about where you put your phone because if you're wearing loose fitted pants or Something that is just not, you know, grippy on you, that makes sense. Then your phone's just gonna slide right out. And if you're not wearing cargo shorts, like how I was, 
then you're probably gonna regret it because or anything with really safety pockets if you will so if you don't trust your pockets enough then just bring a bag or have someone hold your phone for you i mean i wouldn't do that if it was a stranger right because they give you like a little area to put your stuff in but i wouldn't always trust that there's a low risk of any of your belongings getting stolen if you have like a big backpack or a little bag but if you just drop your phone in there that's that's not safe be really careful about what you have in your pockets because anything could fall right out be wary of that if you think you're gonna be able to hold your phone while you're on the roller coaster think twice so that's pretty much it i don't really have much else to say other than it was a pretty good day it, it was nice it was my first time riding roller coasters and i pretty much started with the best one there so that's all i really got great day great adventure try it out if you never rode a roller coaster or been to a theme park try it i mean it's nice anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next time next time next time